In today's video guys, I'm going to show you the best steps you can do on your gaming PC in order to get lower latency on your mouse and keyboard in basically any games you guys are playing. I'm going to show you what all pro players are using in 2023 to reduce their input delay to the bare minimum. So therefore, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And for the first step in today's guide, what I actually want you to do guys is head over into your NVIDIA control panel or even your AMD catalyst this is available for most likely both of these GPU types. And what you basically want to search for in your manage 3D settings is the low latency mode. And there, you definitely gotta make sure to have this on on or ultra, since it will provide you with lower input delay in any games you guys are playing. Professionals across all esports, it doesn't matter if it's Fortnite, CS:GO, Valorant, have this either on on or ultra. You have to try it out for yourself what you personally feel like is better. For me, I like ultra a lot more than on, so therefore I keep it on ultra. But definitely make sure to check out both of these modes. Hop in game real quick, try it out and then set it to your preferred one. Then for the next step guys, I want you to open up whatever software you currently use for a gaming mouse. For me, it's right now here Logitech G703. So I actually use the Logitech Onboard Memory Manager since it is a lot less hardware demanding than having your Logitech G up running in the background 24 seven. And what I want you to do now is basically make sure that your mouse pulling rate is actually set up to the highest your mouse can provide. For me, it's right now here a thousand megahertz. There's even Razer mice out there right now with 8,000. Basically the higher your report rate is on your mouse, the less likely you're gonna have mouse micro stutter, which can actually cause unprecise actions on your mouse or just simply your crosshair flicking all over your screen. So therefore, please make sure that it's really set to the highest available for you. Don't have it on something like 250, 500 or 1000 since you're first of all gonna have these micro stutters, but also additional input delay, which you definitely wanna avoid guys, especially when it comes down to competitive gaming and then just simply save your settings and you're also good to go with this step as well. And in case if you guys are right now using a G-Sync compatible monitor, there's actually some extra steps which you can do as well. For me here right now, since I'm playing Fortnite most of the time, I'm gonna just simply go here wherever my Fortnite config is basically on my PC, which you can see right now here on top. For most of you guys, it's gonna be in the same folder. And once you're in here, you're going to search for the prompt, which is gonna give you the maximum frame rate, which is available in the game for you. Since I'm playing on 360 hertz guys right now, I want you to basically put it free FPS underneath your maximum refresh rate if you have a G-Sync compatible monitor. A lot of monitors nowadays, especially gaming monitors, have this so therefore I would highly recommend you to try this out. Instead of leaving it normally on 360 hertz you're gonna put it as mentioned free FPS underneath which would be 357. As mentioned just simply free FPS underneath your max refresh rate and you will notice increased smoothness when it comes down to competitive games. Since free FPS underneath is perfect for G-Sync and just simply make sure to save it here now click on the save and exit your config and you can apply this for any games you guys want to play. You can apply this for a Valorant config, CSGO config, Fortnite config, all of these. And this next step now guys, we're going to apply a program which is going to be called filter keys and basically this one is going to reduce the input delay on your keyboard even more. You can see here in there now we have the filter keys exit itself and as well a picture of the best settings which you have to apply in the tool specifically and this is going to change basically how responsive your keyboard is going to be in your registry directly. Which means you don't have to let this run anytime you launch basically your PC, you can set it up once and you're good to go. You can get the whole entire tool on my official website Lestrap's Blogspot and just simply click on the input delay. Then you're going to scroll down and take a find a post with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail. Once you get it on your PC, you're going to launch the tool itself and as well open up the settings file. And now all you guys got to do is basically make sure to copy all of these settings here on the right side over into the tool. Ignore under, we're going to leave on zero milliseconds. Repeat delay, we're going to put to 150. Repeat rate, we're going to put to 25. And on the right side, we're going to make sure that only on and available are actually checked and we uncheck everything else. Now, once you're going to type in here, guys, you will notice that you can already type a lot faster and basically also spam your keys a lot faster than previously because for some reason there's actually on windows stock built in delay which basically should prevent double clicking on your keyboard basically but since we want to avoid this for competitive factor we're going to click now onto apply and onto ok and we now changed it in our registry directly how fast or responsive basically our keyboard is going to be 